So welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then uh, now we are going to account the intraoc transfers actually. Intraoc accounting is really very tough actually. So let me go and then share my screen. So we are going to account it actually. So we have seen the on and has got improved now. So we will now go to this place, my internet. There is one uh, document called IOT Trade Events Accounting Entries on the Fusion Inventory Documentation. So IOT Trade Events Accounting Entries, I am opening it up. So here, the accounting is really very complex, actually. So while receiving it, what happens is these are the accounting entries which will happen. While receiving it, and then while you're delivering it, right, these are all the accounting entries which are going to happen. So there are eight accounting activities which will happen while delivering it into the inventory. And then while receiving it, these four will be hit, actually. So don't concentrate too much, but what happens is we have to set up everything very properly. That is your responsibility, actually. We have to set up everything very properly. So we will now set up these accounts. Fine. Remember, the mapping set must be set. These are the mapping set. Fine. So go there. So these are the four mapping sets which will be involved while receiving it. And then these are the five mapping sets which will be involved during not the delivery. So financial team will be creating their own mapping set. And then they will now give you the mapping set number as well as the account number also. It's fine. They will now give the account number and then the mapping set number. So we have to populate those and then what happens? They make a transaction. Since we don't have much of a thing, we are now going to simulate and then we know ensure that the accounting is getting completed actually. Right? So the financial team will now give you these mapping sets for you for an intro transfer. And then they will now give you the mapping set for delivery also, these mapping set names, whatever they have created. Okay. So let us now go there and then push the data into the costing area. First activity is to what? Push the data into the costing area. We'll now go there. So I mean, this is now completed if I click on done now. <clears throat> We will now push the data into the costing area. <laughs> so here, what I do is I will now click on the start icon. <clears throat> and then I go to what? Monitor process. So we have now received something onto the receiving area. I click on schedule new process. <clears throat> and then click on it. Here, what I'm transfer transactions from receiving to costing. So transfer transactions from receiving to costing is the one which you're going to do. Transfer transaction receiving the costing fine given up. So from the receiving area, it has to be pushed into the costing. Transfer transactions from receiving the costing, give a tap, it will be coming fully. It is the, it is the one. It is the ESS job. Fine, click on again. Okay. We are now transferring whatever has been received into the costing area. Fine, click on submit. It is now submitted. Now we will now transfer the transaction from the inventory to costing. Fine, click on the shade in the process. Next one is what? Transfer transactions from inventory to costing. Inventory to costing. Your tab is invented to cost. So both the things have been sent into the interface tables of our, our cost accounting. The cost org is what detail, and then give it a tab, and then click on submit. You know, submit again. Thank you. So this is also fine. So once when both the programs are called completed now, fine. Receiving to costing as well as the invented to costing, we will now first of all create the cost accounting distributions. So we will now create the cost accounting distribution. In reality, they will all be running every 15 minutes or every 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So we will now run the cost accounting distributions. So it's not completed. So preferably what happens when a major event is completed, you log out and log in. And have a habit of logging out and logging in whenever a major event is now completed. Fine, click on sign out. <clears throat> so click on confirm. Whenever a major event is completed, what happens? You sign out and sign in. Now, I will now go to the costing area and then perform my cost accounting distribution. I will now click on the star icon. I go to the costing overview. And then here, I will now perform a cost accounting distribution. Click on it. Here, what happens? I go there. I will now go to create cost accounting distribution I'm going to make. So the first activity is to create a cost accounting distribution. Find t In reality, you need not have to run at all. Right? So click on search. No. We need not have to run it. The scheduled process need not be run at all. It will all be running on a periodic fashion. Actually. In the, in the field, fine. But since we are testing it, we are running it now. And click on the schedule process. So click on the schedule process. What happens? It will be running. Fine. Click on submit. So it's now going to run. So go there. Right click and then duplicate and then have a look at the concurrent. The ESS job we are going to have a look at. So click on the star icon. So click on the star icon. And then here, what happens? You go to the monitor process and then look at it now. So this is now running. Create cost accounting. This is a big program. It will now run approximately for two minutes. Now, fine. We have to wait for it to complete. 
So once when it is completed, the data will now come into the base tables of costing. From the interface tables of costing into the base tables, it will now come. The data will be reaching the in, uh, interface tables to base tables. So it's now running, running, running. <clears throat> so I will be uploading both the records into the uh, G drive actually today. So with this, we have now completed 10 sessions actually. So how do you feel? You can even uh, pass on your messages to your bosses basically. Are you all finding it interesting? Are you able to understand it? Hello? Yes, sir. we just need more practice. Yeah, yeah. We need practice, very correct, actually. So without a practice, it is not possible for you to do it, actually. And then with my instance going away three or four days, it will be very, very difficult, actually. Hello? Yeah, sir. Sir, we haven't got our instance yet, so we are not able to practice it. Yeah, yeah, you're not able to practice. That's the problem. That's why we are uh, uh, behind uh, the schedule. Yeah. And, uh, we are unable to understand this. <laughs> Ask him a one week leave now, fine. If you ask for a one week leave, then give me your management will now give you one week practice. He is not giving us. Say, say, it will take some more time. Okay, now create cost accounting distribution is ended in the warning because result accounting is not complete actually. That is why it is end up in a warning. It doesn't matter. But the remaining has got succeeded actually. Now what we do is we will now go to the what's called the uh, receipt area. Fine. So click on it. Click on the home. And then I will now go to the inventory supply chain execution. Now, if I go to the supply chain execution, supply chain execution, and then here, what happens? I go to what receipt accounting. I will now go to the receipt accounting area. If I click on the receipt accounting area, and then let me save this also. Click on the star icon, and then I will now save it. Now, if I click on it, I will now go to the favorites, add to favorites. Now, fine, add to favorites. So, it is the receipt. ACC accounting overview. So I'm now modifying the name of it to receipt accounting overview. Fine, click on save it. So here we will now create the receipt accounting distribution. Before doing it, what happens? Since I have now made a major work, so I will now log out and log in. Since I have made a major work of what? Creating the distributions, the costing. Fine. Have a log out and log in. So when you log out and log in, it will be very perfect actually. So we are now logging out and logging in. So it will all be perfect. Now fine, click on it. Log in. Now, what happens? They click on the star icon and then I go to the receipt accounting overview. I click on the receipt accounting overview. You're going over there. No? Click on it. <clears throat> the one now, fine. So, here, uh, uh, what happens? We go there. I will now create the cost accounting distributions for this. Right? So, click on it. So, 100 quantities has got received actually. So, the cost of receipts in the last seven days will be $100. Actually. Okay. So, this is the infolet area. So, this is called uh, the main infolet. In the infolet, the cost of receipts will be coming over here. Thank you, Connor. Now go there. You will know what? Create receipt accounting distribution. So the data has already reached the interface tables of receipt accounting. We are now going to pull it into the base table. Thank you, Connor. We are now pulling into the base tables. The business unit name is what? I will now put T10 and then give it a tap. The business unit name, I'm giving it now. Thank you, Connor. So click on submit by which what happens? Uh, the create receipt accounting distribution is now getting complete now. Thank you, Connor. Right. It's not running. So we'll now go to the monitor process, right click and then duplicate and then have a look at it now. And then you go there, click on the star icon, and then you go to the monitor process. Now, if I click on the monitor process, going over there, thank you, monitor. and then click on the refresh icon. Now, the import activity, only for the receipt accounting, it will now be importing it. For a cost accounting, it doesn't import anything at all. It is now submitting the financial orchestration events. Whereas for the receipt accounting, what happens? It is now importing it from the interface to the base tables. Then afterwards, it will now create the distribution sub process will run actually. So, what happens? The sub process for the distribution will be running. So, click on it. Now, the sub process will run. 
after the import is completed, the sub process for creating the distributions will now run. This is now mainly passed. So it is now running. So once when it runs, what happens, it will be known. So now it has spawned a child. The main is again gone into past and then it has now spawned a child called what? Create receipt according distribution sub process. So once when that is completed, the distributions will now get created and then you can now see on this area, whatever, the cost of receipts is $100. That is now happening. Receipt is according distribution. So you go to the receipt according distribution here, whatever, I will now choose my BU now, right? Click on it. It is right? the BU specific. Receipt accounting is BU specific. Right? Drop down and then choose your BU now. Choose your view and then click on apply. And then if you apply, what happens? You know, see, hundred dollars will be coming as a cost of reserves. Hundred dollars will be coming as cost of reserves. No, twenty dollars. Sorry, twenty dollars. So we are receiving only twenty quantities, and so twenty dollars is the cost of reserves. Actually, the cost of reserves is twenty dollars. So if you go to the model process, what happens? You go there. So the whole activity would have got completed. Actually, this is okay. This is a different one. So these three things have got submitted. Now we will now go on and see the accounting now. So if you go on and see the accounting entries, what happens? You'll be having a shipment reference. There are two entries are there. And then interop transfers, there are two entries out. So there will be four accounting entries which will be happening on the receiving side, actually. On the receiving side. So we'll now go there. See the shipment interface and then interop transfers. I will now go there. I will now, what happens? Right click and then duplicate. I will now right click and then duplicate. Let me see the what happens, your accounting entries, actually. Fine. Click on the star icon. And then here I go to the receipt accounting overview. I can click on the receipt accounting overview. You're going to have a look at it. I might click on it. So here, what happens? You go there. I will now click on it. And then go to what? Review receipt accounting distribution. Now, $20 has already come now. I will now review the receipt accounting distribution. Review receipt accounting distribution. So click on the review receipt accounting distribution. I will now say item starts with what happens? Is that T1004 is the one. Fine. You can put one of them and then do it now. Fine. So double star. There are one, two, three, four, five fields are double star. And click on search, it will now show you the receipt accounting distribution. So there will be four accounting entries which will be there. There will be four accounting entries will be there. So one is what? In transit receipt now. And then trade receipt accrual. No, this is the one. Interoc transfers, the document is what? Interorganization transfers and then shipment reference. Now. You go there, fine. It is called shipment reference and then interoc transfers. In the shipment reference, we will be having two activities now. You go to the shipment reference, keep your shipment reference, and then click on it, and then have a look at it. Now, in the bottom, what happens if you go there? If you go to the distribution, now, if I click on the distribution, if you click on the distribution, you can now see interoc payables is it, and then trade clearing is it actually. You go there. In the shipment reference, what happens? The interoc payables is now hit, the trade clearing is also hit. And on the interoc transfers, what happens? The receiving inspection is it, and then trade in transit valuation is it. Now. I know that. You keep your cursor on the interoc transfers, you go there, and then have a look at it. It is what it is what's called. Trade in transit valuation and then receiving inspection. Trade in transit valuation and then receiving inspection. Now we have to set up the accounts for this. So setting up the accounts is your responsibility actually. So here, what happens? It will be having multiple mapping sets actually. These are all visions one. So the end client will be creating different mapping sets. And then when you create the accounting, it will not tell you all the errors actually. You go there, click on it. Now it says what? Distributions are processed. The distributions are processed. Fine, go there. If we go there, if you expand it, it's got a transaction date. Okay, so the distributions are processed. Now, once when I create an accounting, everything will be ending up an error because no error, no accounting has been set properly at all. We will now go there and then do the create accounting now. We will now go there. We will now do the create accounting. Click on it. We will now go there. I will now do the create accounting now. Fine. I'll go against accounting, click on the create accounting. So once when you create an accounting, everything will be ending an error because no mapping set has been set. And remember, it is the responsibility of the supply chain team to set up all these mapping sets. Fine. Right? All these mapping sets you have to set up. Everything you have to set up. And click on the create accounting. And then we will now create accounting and then see the errors now. So what is the sub ledger accounting? Here, what happens? You go to the receipt accounting. It is the receipt accounting. So go to the receipt accounting is the sub ledger accounting. What is the ledger name? It is starting on T10. Fine, give it a T10 is the ledger name. It is now starting on T10. So go there. So if everything is okay, fine. Somebody is okay. Deal. You know, get it. Everything you know, going to post also. If nothing will get posted because it will never import any journal at all because we have not set any mapping set at all. So this will never happen at all. So we will now see the error and then correct it. Fine. Click on submit. So receipt accounting is a subletter application. This is my ledger. Fine. Click on submit. By which what happens? This will be running. You can now see in the monitor process what happens. Receipt accounting creation is now running. 
create accounting for the receipt accounting is not running now. so create accounting and then finally if everything is okay the import journals will happen but here in this case import journal will not happen at all because none of the mapping set has been set with the values we are not set anything at all none of the mapping set has been set <clears throat> No, the mapping set has been set as any values. So what we have to do is we have to set up the values. So the values also will be given by the financial team. And then the mapping set name also will be given by the financial team. Get on it. Go there. Now, what happens after create accounting? Posting is not happening now. Import is not happening at all. So after the import only it has to post, nothing has got imported. And so posting is nothing but a dummy run actually. It is a dummy run. Fine, not a real run. It is a dummy run actually because nothing has got imported actually. Fine. Okay. Go there, go there, click on it. Fine. And then have all that. So, create accounting is running. So, finally, what happens? You will be having what? The create accounting execution report will be coming. We will now look at the report and then we will now republish it and then see what has all gone report. Now, no, create execution report is running. Now, fine. So, it is now running. Fine. Click on it. We will now set up all the accounts. It has now got succeeded now. I will now click on the create accounting execution report and then republish it in the bottom. Now output, what happens? I'm going to click on the republish. I'm going to republish in the bottom. We are republishing it. So click on the wheel icon, export to PDF. Click on the wheel icon and then export to PDF. I'm now going to export to PDF. So go there. I will now open up and then see all the errors actually. Go on, go on. So there will be plenty of errors which will be coming up. Go on, go on. So go there. So you will be having what? So many errors are there. Go there. So here we have one what trade in transit valuation. I go that one. Now close this now. Go there. So one is what trade in transit valuation, the mapping set that is now giving error now. And afterwards, what happens if you see what happens? The receiving uh, uh, mapping set, receiving inspection. Next is receiving inspection. This is the one which is having a fine. So these two are now shown over here. And then the trade in transit valuation, receiving inspection, and then go there. So one is what intro payables and then trade clearing actually. So intro payables and trade clearing. So we have to set up these values basically. Right? We have to set up these values. So go there. So we'll now set up these values on this. <coughs> we are going to set up these values. So go there. Right. So we are going to set up this now. So trade in transit valuation. And then go there and then have a look at it. <coughs> so uh, we will now set up these values actually. <coughs> One second. Uh, in clock payable so, you know. <clears throat> so here it says in which org we have to do it now. Right? Here, all the four the trade clearing, in clock payables, and then receiving inspection trades, everything has to be set up on the destination org actually. On the destination org, we have to set up. Right? Since I don't have any values now, right? so I will now use an existing value of 1001 and then set it up. Got it now. Right? So these four values has to be set. Can somebody say yes to me that you understood it? But right? this will be having a different name in the field actually. Fine. Here in the vision, it is not coming like this. Not fine. Living inspection and then intro payables. It will be Tata intro yes, payables, yes, Tata sir. trade clearing, like that. What happens there? The financial team will now give you the mapping set name. And then they will now give you the account name also. Now, let us now set all the four mapping set with the appropriate values. I will now go to the monitor process. I will now right click and then duplicate. We are now going to set up the accounts which has been given by the financial team. And remember, it is your responsibility. You only have to set up. They will never, they will not simply say, sir, it is no erroring out now. So here, receipt accounting distribution is done now. Fine, then it, if you go on and make a search, it will not throw all the errors actually. Fine, if you make a search, you know, create a fine, click on search now. Fine, distribution is process. Now everything will be error. It will be in error actually. So it's all in error actually. It's all error. If you go to the journal entries, if you go to the journal entries, the journals have all ended up in error actually. Fine. Chikan, 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 everywhere error. Expand it. Whatever you see error, error, error. All the things are fine. Click on expand it. Whatever each and everything is an error actually. So now we will now set up our mapping set of the values and then again run the create accounting. Distributions is okay. Distribution creation is your responsibility, but accounting is financial responsibility. But setting up the mapping set is your responsibility. Got it now? I will not right click and then duplicate. So let us not go there. I will now set up the accounts. Now. So click on the name and then click on the setup and maintenance. Click on the setup and maintenance. No? Click on the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> Go there, click on it, and then choose manufacturing and supply chain management over here. Here, go there. I will now go to what? Manage mapping set. So it is not manage mapping set, not this one. Right? So here, what happens? This is not what happens. The cost accounting actually. This is receipt accounting. 
So receipt accounting will be coming under purchasing now. Right? Receipt accounting will be coming under purchasing. It is not manufacturing and then you go to the procurement now and drop it down and then choose procurement from this now. That is use procurement and not manufacturing and supply chain management. Under manufacturing and supply management, the cost accounting will come. Under the procurement, the receipt accounting will come. So choose procurement here and then go to the manage mapping set. Manage percentage fine, map percentage fine, set percentage. So go to that account and then choose receipt accounting. Manage mapping set of receipt accounting, you have to choose now. So here procurement, manage mapping set of receipt accounting. Are you all clear? Can somebody say yes to me? It's a very tough one and then you have to understand it very clearly. Yeah. <laughs> the manage, mapping set. <laughs> manage mapping set. Now, this will not have any scope at all. Only cost accounting will have a scope. The mapping set of cost accounting will have a scope, whereas uh, the mapping set of receipt accounting will not have any scope at all. And no scope is there. And click on the manage mapping set directly, and then we will now query one by one when you expand it. We'll not go there. We'll not go to this. What happens? Your trade accounting area. Fine, go account. In this place, what happens? There are, I will now say trade in transit. This is the valuation now. This is the mapping set name now. Whereas it will be really Tata trade in or Birla trade in transit. Now go there. So I will not go to the place now. I will not query for this one. I will not query for it. So click on search. It will not show you the mapping set. So click on the hyperlink of it and then I will not add an entry now. So click on it. And then here, whatever they click on plus, I am not going to add an entry. I have no add an entry. I will not say what is it? It's a T1. My chart of account that I choose and find select it. And then go there. I will not go there. Click on it. I will not click on plus now. Find click on plus. <laughs> Go there. So here, what happens? I will not add an entry. No, fine. Click on it. I will not add an entry. So go there. Click on search. No, fine. I am not putting some accounts or whatever is available. <laughs> so I will not choose 1004. Fine. Uh, 1005 is an expense actually. 1004 is an asset. Okay. I am not choosing something. And then I will not set as a default for all the inventory or in reality, what happens? They will be giving different different accounts. So the first mapping set is set with the account for all the inventory orders. Can you say yes to me? Now three more has to be said now. Go there. So click on save and close. First is not done. Trade in transit valuation is not completed. You don't go there. You don't go to this place, man. You don't go to the final one. Then afterwards, what happens? Receiving inspection. You go to the receiving inspection now. Receiving inspection. You don't take off it. You don't go there. Fine. Go to the manager inspection. Fine. Expand it and then search for it. The second mapping set I'm going to set up. Go there. I will click on search. I click on search. I'm not searching for it. So go to the receiving inspection now. Fine. Click on the receiving inspection. Go there. I will not click on plus and then I will not add it. I mean, for my chart of accounts, right? Click on it and then T1, it will be coming. No, fine. Click on T1. T1 because T1, if you do it, it will be coming. You select it and then you can now see on the bottom also T1 is coming. So click on plus and then I'm going to add it. No, click on plus. And then here, what happens? I'm going to add it. Fine. And then I click on it. And then click on search. No, fine. I'm not giving you 1004. So well, some, I'm not giving on the expense account. Right? Click on it. So there, 1004 I given. Here, I given. I click on set as a default. And then go there, give a save and close, and then come back and then make a check actually. Again, go there and then make a check whether the readings are there or not. Click on it and go there. So I'll select it and then go there and then have a look at it. It's there actually. So go there. It must be there actually. Can I give a cancel? The email or I mean, the trade in transit also will not make a check now actually. Go there. Not. Whether it is, after they're coming out, what happens? You have to check it now. I'm going to say to that trade and then query for it. Fine. Trade in transit valuation is not. Trade in terms of evaluation. It does not check whether it is there or not. Whatever entries you have made, I mean, select it and then have a look at it. So it is there actually. So just make a check after you come out. What happens? Make a check. So two are then two more mapping set has to be done. Now. I click on it. We have to make two more mapping set now. You know, click on it. Once again. I mean, place man. Go to the creator one thing. So two more mapping set has to be done. So this is one what? This was for interop payables. I will not select it. Fine. Take a copy of it. We'll now go to this place now. I will not search for it. Interop payables, no fine. Come on, click on search. Interop payables, no. What? There is somewhere some extra space is there. Uh, the beginning there is extra space. I have not deleted. And then click on search. If there is extra space, it will not be coming. Fine. Intra organization payables, fine. Click on it. Go there. Click on it. And then click on plus. No fine. I will not put my chart of account over here. Fine. The B one. And then enter. No fine. That will be coming. Then select it. And then will not put it. Down. We go down. And then click on plus. No fine. Click on plus. And then in this area, what happens? You go there. I will not choose 1004 now. Real accounts will be given by the financial team. Click on it. And then set as a default for all. For all the things I'm setting as a default. So click on save and close and then come back again and then see. Now. Click on come back again and then have a look at it. Whether the entries are remaining there or not, make a check. Click on it. Now make a check. So click on it. Now make a check. So in the T10, what happens? You go there. 
So the entries are there actually. The final one I'm going to give. No, if I give a cancel, let us know to the final one. So click on it. No, <laughs> then you go to the final one. No, if I click on it, the final one is what trade clearing. No. So go there. I will not go to the trade clearing. <clears throat> so take a copy of it. Don't go to the place. No, if I click on it. I will not go to this place. No, if I go to the manage mapping set. No, I the manage mapping set. I will not query for the trade clearing. Paste it. I click on search. <clears throat> trade clearing is the one. I click on search. You know it. Go there. So click on plus so that will not end. Go there with the T1 and then enter it now. And then select it and then go there and then click on plus now. Click on plus and then go there. And then in this place, whatever the accounting is going to be entered. No click on search. I will not choose what. Rate clearing. I will not put an expense account. 1000 by is an expense account. Is as account. I'm putting it and then set as a default now. Go there. So click on save and close and then come back and then make a check. Right? Again, you want to trade clearing, come back and then make a check whether it is there. Then select it and then see whether it is there. Everything is there. Now, if I do and then do the create accounting, everything will be done now. If you go there, go to the receipt accounting. If you do it, no error will be there. All these things will be accounted actually. So click on it. So you will not check by create accounting. You have to set it up on the mapping set and then tell the uh, whatever the financial team through email that I have set now. They will now run it at some time. Create accounting is their responsibility. Create accounting. So sometimes what happens, they will not do a draft accounting. I can go there. I will not go to the receipt accounting. Receipt accounting. The receipt accounting. The ledger is what T10. So they may not do a final offer. They will not make a draft initially and then afterwards go for final. I can go there. You know, give a detail. This time you can see, see that what happens, the import journals also will happen. But you are not supposed to do this. Because this will now reflect on the profit and loss of the company as well as the balance sheet. So create accounting is not your cup of tea, remember. But setting up the mapping set is your responsibility. Are you clear? And can somebody say yes to me that this is clear now? Fine. Setting in the mapping set is your responsibility. Can you say yes to me? One of you please say yes. That setting up of the mapping set is your responsibility. Have you understood it? Open. Yes, very good, very good. Now, import journal will now run. Oh, the import journal is not running actually. <laughs> it may run only on the cost accounting, I think, probably. It's not running at all. Import journal is not running. Uh, post journal is only running now. Ah, it is not running. See, import journal is running. So, import journals, if it is running, then what happens? You have set up everything very correctly. You have set up everything correctly. So, it's not running. And then the execution report also will be coming. So the previous execution report had a lot, lot of errors actually. Journal entry status is invalid actually. Right? Nothing is there. No kind of invalid. And then we have seen all the invalid. No. You can now see the in, in transit receptors was what having one in error. And then trade accruals has got one in error. Now if you go on and see, there will be no errors at all. So one, one error. And then every error, totally invalid journal entries are two. No. And then all the four lines is not showing you the error actually. So let me close it now. Fine, close it. And then close it now. Mm -hmm. And then here, what happens? You go there and then how are you going? You go to the mall process and how are you going? Now, what happens? Your execution report will be coming fine. It's not ready. It's not running. So once when you have a look at it, you will not find any error at all. It has not succeeded. Fine, click on it. Go there. And then we will not have a look at it. Click on it. Click on the report. So click on it and then click on the republish on this. Now, fine, click on the republish. And then click on the star icon and then export to PDF. You know, fine. No errors at all in this place. So click on the execution report. Fine, go that one. You know, have a look at it. Click on it. Go down, go down, go down. Now, what happens? The errors is Kori Mutai, Pujiam, zero. Everything has got succeeded. Everything has got succeeded. And then we are having some Kama Chama account. Fine, everywhere, some Gichkan Gichka account are there. This will all be given by the financial event. Financial will be giving it. So, end of the report. So, there is no error at all. No problem. This name of the mapping set and then the account will be given by the financial team. You only have to set up, but you will not run the create accounting. Remember, create accounting you are not supposed to run because that will now finally create your profit and loss statement. So they will only do it, but after setting it up, you tell them that I have done it. And when they are running, if they are ending an error, they will not ask you. Are you are, to take nahi, oh, take nahi, like that, they will not ask you. Got it now, fine. Can you say yes to me? Your responsibility must be very clear upon this now. Now, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good, very good. Now, if you go on and make a search, 
you will not find any error at all. Right? Go there, come search, no, fine, go there. But they only have to say it is all final accountant actually. You are not supposed to see the final accountant. Final accountant has to come from the financial team. But since it's a training, we are testing the create accounting. Create accounting, you will never do. If at all you will do, you will not do a draft accounting, not the final accounting actually. The final accounting and then go there. So there's no showing all the accounts. Not final. Every account is not shown. It's not it. It's not shown. So this one has got two accounting entries. This one has got two accounting entries. Everything is not shown. Now we will not go to the costing area. Fine, click on that. The cost accounting area. Fine, click on that. So receipt accounting is complete. We will not go to the costing area. And then have a look at it. We'll go there. If you go and then look at the costing area. Fine, now close this. Now fine, close it. And then if you have a look at the costing area, fine, in the cost accounting, there are five mapping sets has to be set actually. So when I create the accounting, it will be giving you five different errors. And then there are eight accounting entries. There are four events actually. In the receiving, we have got only two events now, fine. One is the shipment reference and the interop transfers. Here on the cost accounting, there will be four accounting events, which has got eight accounting entries actually. And then five mapping sets. Everything has to be set properly. And you have to ask the name exactly. It may be Tata, a trade in terms of Tata internalization receivables or whatever it is. Fine. The Birla, whatever they are given, the name they will not be. So click on the star icon and then I go to the costing overview. Fine. Click on the costing overview. I'm not going to the costing overview. Fine. Go there. So click on it. And then it is already gone for 35.1 or 34.1. $100 is gone now. Fine. Go there. So click on it. I will now review the receipt accounting distribution. Review receipt, 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 review cost accounting distribution. I will now review it. Now. Fine. Click on it. We go there and then have a look at it. Item starts with is what T10 0.4 is the one. Fine, click on search now. Fine, we are searching for it now. Fine, click on search. We're searching for it. So once when you search for it, what happens? We'll not just say, take some 10 minutes extra, we'll not complete it and then go now. And because this should not be left as such now. So by 4:10, I think I will be completing it now. So we have got one, two, three, four, five. Out of which, what happens? Uh, this is the miscellaneous result. The remaining four are trade events actually. In transit result, in transit shipment to go there and then have a look at fine. One is what in transit shipment, one is the in transit result, and then the trade in transit issue, and then trade in transit result. Right? Trade in transit result, and then trade in transit. This is a miscellaneous. Result. So there are four accounting entries there. And there are four accounts. So everything is fully costed, not accounted. And if you go on and run the accounting, what happens? Everything will now end up in error. So we will not do the create accounting. I click on the create accounting. In the accounting, what happens? We have a create accounting. I click on create accounting. So once we do it, what happens? If you go there, this is no more a receipt accounting, but it's a cost accounting. Previously, we ran the receipt accounting. Now, this is a cost accounting. Now go there. So we'll now go to the cost accounting. Where is the cost accounting? Cost management. Cost management. This is a cost management. There is a previous receipt accounting. Fine, go there. Ledger is what? T10. And then go there. Everything is okay. Fine, click on submit. Any of this is going to error out. Now, fine, click on submit. Import journals will not happen. Now, fine, click on submit because none of that. Mapping set have been set actually with the values. Fine, go there. I will now go to the monitor process and have a look at it. So now in the costing area, we are now creating the cost accounting distribution. Receipt accounting distribution is now complete now. Now we are now creating the cost accounting distribution. This also has to import the journals, but nothing will happen. So there are five mapping sets which has to be set with the values. And there are four events with eight accounting entries actually. Every event has got two accounting entries. Uh, so the five costing sets has to be done. Fine. So now what happens? We will now see the execution report directly and then look at the, the mapping set names which we have to set up. Oh God, import journal is happening because there are some other transactions which are okay. Even our transactions are not okay, but some other transactions are okay because of which what happens? They are getting imported actually. Ours is not okay actually. So I went on the standard costing now, fine, that is okay. So that has got imported actually. Now we will now look at what uh, the post journal will be coming. Then finally, what happens? It will now create a what happens? A cost accounting report. Create cost accounting execution report will be coming. So we'll now have a look at the execution report and that will now correct our problems now. And this is because of some other successful ones it has done now. Import journals. That is for us, it will not run. So update subledger accounting balances, everything is not doing it now. Fine. They're all required for the financial team. Now the execution report is running now. Fine. Click on it. Now have a look at it. The execution report is running now. Good morning. So once when this is completed, what happens? It will now have what? Succeeded fine. Select it and then we'll now output now. So we'll now republish. Any output can be republished. Fine. Click on republish now. I will now go to the star icon export to PDF. 
on the right hand side, the PDF file will be coming. When you click on the PDF file and then open it up. So now there are so many errors. Errors are two, two, two. When you are, when all the errors are coming. Trade cost accounting, when you are, all these things are coming. In transit, in transit. So two plus two, basically four errors actually. There are four errors now in total. So if you go on and see, here also what happens. You know, close this now. You know, close it. Go there. So here also what happens. Uh, there are four, four events. In transit shipment, in transit reserve. And then I had trade clearing and then this So there are four events. So, uh, so total cost, uh, trade cost accounting fine is the in transit. On, uh, and then what happens? Uh, in transit, in, intra organization transfers to accounts. Miscellaneous is okay. You can leave it now. And that, that has succeeded. That is not having any problem at all. That has got posted also. Fine. So in transit, intra transfers to and then trade cost accounting to now. In transit, intra transfers now. In transit, in transit shipment and in transit of the intra transfers and the trade clearing, the trade clearing has got these two trade in transit issue and then result. So that comes a trade cost accounting. So we'll not go there. So everything will be having one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven are coming now. I will not so many are coming now. <laughs> I will not see from this period now. I will not go there. So I will not have a look at nothing like that. So in the cost accounting, what happens? I will not see the mapping set. So probably what happens is this may be the mapping set now. So let me take up this now because here. To see this is very difficult actually. So what I will do is from the Excel sheet, I will not take up this mapping set. Trade in transit valuation. This time I have to go to the cost accounting and then set it up. Right? I will not go there, click on it. Create accounting is the I will not what happens, manage mapping set. So click on done and then come out of it. We will not go to the manufacturing and supply chain management. I click on that. I will not come to the main area. Not coming at all. If we're not coming, what happens? I will not what happens, go there. I will not right click and then duplicate. I'm unable to done now. Fine. Dunning is not working actually. Fine. Click on the name and then go to the setup and maintenance. Go to the setup and maintenance. This time I had to choose manufacturing and supply chain management and not procurement actually. Because cost accounting comes under this. Manufacturing and supply chain management I had to choose now. And then go there. Go to the manage mapping set. Fine. Manage percentage. Fine. Map percentage. Fine. Set percentage. Entry now. Manage mapping set is one of cost accounting and choosing. The cost of money. So the scope is already selected. I can go to the management mapping set. Otherwise, what happens? You have to click on the scope and then select it and expand it. And then I have taken a copy from this place. Now I know that I will not paste it. Trade in transit valuation. I click on search. I am not searching for it. Trade in transit valuation. I am going to click on it. Go there. So here, what happens? I will not go on and give a plus. Now I click on plus. Go there. It is a T1 now. <clears throat> I will not choose it and go down. And then here, what happens? I go there. I will not click on plus. And then we don't have much of accounts, and so what happens? You know, choose 1004. No? Click on search. 1004. Click on OK. No? I will not set as a default for all. No. So here, what happens? All is not working at all. So uh, okay, one second. I will not set as a default. Fine. Click on set as a default. See, it's working actually. So all is working. Fine. Always save and then come back. No. Fine. Save and close and then come back again. No? Trade in transit valuation. Fine. So go there and then come back again and then see whether your accounting entries are there. No? So it is not visible here now. In the in the query area, you go and then query now. Find T10 and then enter now. Find query area, it will not show you. Select it and then go there and see. So it is not working at all. So here it will not accept all at all. In the cost accounting, we have to be org specific actually. So the trade in transit has been set to both the source and destination, remember. The trade in transit valuation is visible. So all will not work. So we have to have an independent value now. Find source and destination or we have to have an independent tree now. Independent entry is required. So all is not working, remember. In the cost value, fine. In the costing area, nothing. All will not work. Fine, go that click on it. I will not go to the place, fine, go that click on it. I will not choose the account, fine, click on search. I will not put the account, no, fine, click on OK. And then here, I will not put account or what is what. Go there. I will not say, is that T, fine, 101. And then click on plus, no, fine. All will not work. We had to have a org specific entries now, remember. Go there. Is that 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1004. And then go there. So click on it. It is a T102. Here, all will not work. Set as a default will not work at all. So go there, save and close, and then come back. Again, come back and then make a search. So there are five things are there. Fine, go there. So in this place, what happens? Now it's working now. One of them is a default. It doesn't matter. But what happens? Uh, that is not going to work at all. It's not really working, actually. Fine. It's not, you know, maybe I may it may work. I'm not very sure about it. But uh, some of them needs what yeah, or specific entries actually. Is also there actually. I'm not very sure about it. So this you talk to financials whether we have to have Oxbell big entry or yeah, star will okay or not. Accordingly, do it. And click on save and close. So the first one is done. Four more to be done now. Next one is what interorganization receivables. Interorganization receivable is required only for the source actually. Take away. It is required only for the source. No, fine. It's easy actually. Fine. Click on it. It's required only for the source. 
inter organization receivables my entry now it is required only for the source of my click on it will not wait only for the source go there so here what am I, you go there and then click on plus now only to one and the theta enter now so that is the query now you know the wait now it's required only for the source my click on plus go there so go there try and click on plus and then put it open i want to choose 1004 no. <clears throat> It is required only for the source. I will not enter, make an entry. T101 is the one find over there. Star no. Go there. So this also I will not drop down and then choose the star at the top. And here, what about the star? And then give a save and then come back and then do it. No. Go there. So give a save and close. Again, come back and then see. The second one, we are testing it actually. Go there. Go there. So go there. it is there actually. Second one is completed. Three more to be done now. Give a save and close. No. You should give a cancel now, right? Because the second time we are not on it. So trade clearing for the destination. Go there. So trade clearing is required for the destination of another account. You know, take away. You know, go then do the third trade clearing now. Remember, they will be giving a lot of accounts now. Right? Every account has to be set with the appropriate value. It is your responsibility. I don't know why company is doing it like this now. Right? Because financials do not have time now. They have a lot of other activities. RAR, whatever is the supply chain mapping set, you please set up. Go there. So click on it and then click on it. I will not search for it. I will not put 1004. And then inventory org is what? This is for what? Trade trading is for destination org. The trade trading. So I will not go there and then put what? T102 and capital D, remember. Star. Go there. Costing category is what? You go down, drop down, and then choose a star. Here item number is a star. No? star. This is for the destination org. So click on save and close and then come back and then see the third one. The third one we are going to set up and then make a check. It's already there. Now the fourth one we will not do big grants and all So two more are doing inventory valuation. So you know, take a copy of the inventory valuation. Now go to this place, search for it. The inventory valuation. Inventory valuation. Go there and for it. Inventory valuation, I don't know for it. It is it will already be there actually. If you go there, we already be having go there. T10 entry now. Inventory valuation will be there now. T10 is there. Go there. So it was 101. I will not set it for the destination also. So click on it. I will not go there. Curl it. And then there is no such question of duplicate. Fine. Click on plus and then do it. Go there. I will not say 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1004. And then I will not put it for destination. T102 is the one fine. It's a star. The fourth entry we are making it, remember. Drop it down and then choose the one. And then here also it's a star. So inventory valuation has been set for both the source and destination. Fine, that. They will all be giving the values, remember. Fine, click on save and close. We are now putting some random values. Now we'll go on and have a look at it. Fine, click on it. And then again, this we we'll now have both the source and destination. So the fourth mapping set is now done. The final mapping set we are going to do. The final mapping set we are going to do. There is a receiving inspection for the destination. So we'll not take off it. We'll not go there. Click on it. I know. Receiving inspection is the one. I will not do the receiving inspection. No, I don't know what this name is. The final mapping set, we are setting it up. Fine, click on it. This is for the destination or Receiving inspection for the destination or I will not go there. Click on it. And then click on plus now. Then click on plus. And then add it. So T10, the one I'm entering now. So for the destination or we are doing Receiving inspection. Click on it. I will not put 1005 now. Click on search. I am now putting it randomly. 1003, don't use it. This is the owner ZPT, remember. Don't use 1003 at all. Go there. It is for the destination of 20, 102. Go there. There is a star and then go there. Drop down and then choose a star. No, and drop down and then choose a star. And then item number is also a star. And that's it. Fine, go there. All the mapping set are set. Fine, give a save and close. And again, come back and then make a search. Now, click on search. Go there. So go there. You want it. Now, what happens if it is not going to select it and then see this for the destination or so we are now set up everything. Now we will not run the create accounting. This time, what happens? Everything must have been accounted now. Right? So go there. So here, what happens? Uh, it is all done now. Fine. I'll now give a cancel and then come out of it. We'll now go to the create accounting point, go there, click on it, and then give a cancel now. Fine. We'll again run the create accounting. Fine. Here, what happens? Everything has now entered in the error actually. Fine. Uh, if you give a search now, fine, click on search on this now, fine, click on search. This fully accounted. Fully costed, not accounted, fine. Click on search, no fine. Click on search. It won't show you that what happens. Nothing is accounted, actually. Accounting set is all in error, actually. Make a search. Fully costed, but not accounted, actually. Okay, not accounted is coming, but uh, now it has to come as a error. Everything is error. Now. At least one area, what happens? The miscellaneous is now fully accounted. 
because miscellaneous transaction has got no problem. It's only about the remaining four and year and all. We'll not run the credit accounting again. This time it has to succeed. So click on credit accounting. Remember, your job is somewhat very tedious actually, cost management. Taking out the mapping set name and then what happens there? Taking the account number and then setting it up appropriately. I will not go for a deal. No. This time, import journals will again run. Previously, the import journal ran for what? You are this thing now. Find credit accounting. The import journal ran for the other one now. Find so, so, so click on submit. This time, import journal will be running for all other four events, actually. So, import journal ran for the miscellaneous result, actually. Now, for the remaining four, it will now run, actually. If you go to the monitor process and then go and then have a look at it, now find they'll be running for this. I will not search only mine. Now, find go there. I will not go and then put T tell so that what happens, only my concurrence will be visible. Now, find click on search. Only my concurrence will be visible. So, create a counting running now, click on search. And then go there. And then search for it. So now import journal will be running for our four entries actually. And then they will also be getting accounted actually. Import journal is going to run for our four entries actually. Previously it has run for the miscellaneous result. Now for our four entries it is running now. And then once when it is completed, we can now see that everything will be pakka actually. So they are all pushed into the GL area. The financial team will now finally create the profit and loss and balance sheet at the month end or at the quarter end or at the year end, depending upon the need actually. So it has to get posted. This is the activity is their activity only. You will not do it. But setting up the accounts is your responsibility actually. Setting up the accounts is your responsibility and then you have to do it properly. Now find that. So create accounting is running and then it will now spawn the final what? Create cost execution report. Cost accounting report. When create accounting execution report is now running. Now find that. So once when it is done, what happens? You can go there and see. In the meantime, what happens if you review the cost accounting distribution and see ERL will all go away. Now, find click on search, you'll not find all the errors going away. It's all final accounted. All the four will be final accounted, actually. All the four will be final accounted. <clears throat> Everything is final accounted. And remember, creating accounting is not your cup of tea, but setting up of is yours. And of course, fully costed is your activity. It has to get costed. That is your supply chain responsibility. This is financial team will not do the credit accounting or not. They will not draft account it for some time. And then finally, after in the quarter, they will not make the final accounting actually. You go to the model process, and then what happens? You see the execution report also. There will not be any error at all. It will not succeed if I click on it and then go there and then have a look at it. Okay. Go there. And then what happens? Republish the output. No, I click on the republish the output. Click on star and then export to PDF. No, click on the PDF. And remember, in the, the set default will not work at all. You have to do it independently. And that is very, very important, the cost accounting area. So go there. So there are no errors at all. Errors, warnings, nothing is there actually. Everything is now passed. Right? So we can now see with the appropriate accounting entries now coming. So here two accounts. Here next is two accounts. And the next is here. So there are only eight accounting entries are there actually. Two plus two plus two. And then there are two. Eight accounting entries are now two. This completes interorg accounting now. How comfortable you are now? Tell me. You understood it? Can you say yes to me that you understood it? <laughs> it's yeah, a really yeah, yeah. only thing is it's a laborious activity. Fine. You have to take up the yeah, mapping set name that. and then the account yeah, name yeah, yeah. and then set it up appropriately and then refer my uh, document and then set it up accordingly. Well, this is for what? One pair of organizations between T101 and 102. If it is going to be between T101 and 103, again, what happens? All these things have to be set. Some of them may be common. Yes, yes, but you have to do it now. Right? <clears throat> so for every pair of org, you have to set up the accounting now. Very okay. big task. Right? I am happy. I am 64. I don't have to set up anything at all. I have to only teach. <laughs> In reality, what happens? You people have to sit and then... <laughs> so tomorrow at 3 p.m. we will now meet again. Right? Monday, not no Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. still young at 64. Yeah, yeah. sir. <laughs> <laughs> so on Monday at 3 p.m. we will now meet on the next session actually. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Bye. Bye.
Yeah. It's all clear now. One thing is, what happens? You have to practice. That is the only thing. Now, fine. Practicing is the only thing. Yeah. 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 Bye now. Bye bye. Have a good day, sir. Bye.